In some ways, this is a walk through the history of drawing from Renaissance to modern. And we have a sense of affinities that we otherwise might not see. It really gives you an opportunity to look at the works in dialogue with one another and the way in which drawing can be used to interpret and represent the body in all of its guises. Conversations in Drawing, Seven Centuries of Art from the Gray Collection is a lone exhibition of around 60 drawings from the Chicago-based collectors, Richard and Mary Gray. It consists of around 60 sheets that range from really late 15th to the 21st century and include works made in Europe and the United States. Most of the drawings in this show are in some way representative of the human figure, though there are some abstract works and landscapes as well. I think Richard and Mary both focused on quality and condition. Richard Gray was esteemed for his love of 20th century drawing, but he also became very interested in 16th, 17th, 18th century impressionist drawings. And when we walk through the exhibition, we see the endless inventiveness of artists and the seemingly endless variety of ways in which the human form can be interpreted. You do have a lot of tradition within the exhibition, but then a lot of the groundbreaking developments that you see throughout the 20th century are represented here as well. The show is hung in a way that's not chronological and allows for a lot of visual connections among works that were made in different periods and by artists working in completely different visual traditions. One of my favorite works is Picasso's Two Dancers from 1925, which he made while he was observing rehearsals of the Ballet Russe in Monte Carlo. And it's just this really wonderful moment of repose. And you really get the sense that Picasso is capturing this very quickly and very economically with just a few gestures. A drawing I truly love is this late work by Giuseppe Porta. This is one of his masterpieces, made when he was back in Rome in 1560s in preparation for a fresco. The drawing is remarkable from the point of view of color. It's vibrant, it pops off the sheet. The artist is using four different chalks against blue paper to depict the different textures and visual effects. In designating a home for the Gray Collection, the Gray family have identified 10 old master and modern drawings with the Morgan in mind, and these will now become part of our permanent collection. Picasso, Matisse, Dubuffet, Lichtenstein, a very beautiful study of a young man by Naldini. The entire span of the Morgan's collection is nourished, is enriched by this gift. The vast majority of the works emphasize the transparency of the drawing medium. The emphasis here really is on mark making and the way in which you can connect with the artist's humanity and trace the process of art making. And we're hoping that when visitors come to the exhibition, they're going to enjoy some of the juxtapositions that we've made, but that they'll also develop their own ideas about how the works are speaking to each other across time and place.